let's solve this problem guys using parallelogram law let's read the problem the force acting on the gear tooth is 20 pounds resolve this force into two components acting along the lines AA and BB so as you can see guys there are two intersecting lines which is our line AA and BB now guys let's make that lines as our axis so let's draw again our force on our axis so this is now our force guys on our axis AA and BB this force guys is 20 pounds this force guys has its own two components so that will make our force or this force guys as our acting resultant force since it has its own components so let's draw its components guys from the AA and BB axis so first let's draw its components on the BB axis so it will look like this guys so this is now its first components and let's name this as our force B now let's draw its second components guys right here so this components is in the AA axis so let's call this as our force A now guys let's draw the parallel line so that we can now form our parallelogram so from the tip of our force A let's draw a parallel line of the force B so right here so this since this is parallel to our force B then the magnitude is our force B is equal on this side and from the tip of our force B let's draw a parallel line to our force A so since this is also parallel line to our force A this is also force A so this is our force this is 20 pounds now guys remember that what we need to find on this problem is the magnitudes of the two components namely our force A and our force B so as looking at our parallelogram guys this red line divided our parallelogram into two congruent triangles so we can choose one of them guys to solve for the magnitude of our force A and force B so let's choose this top triangle so let's draw that again so this is the triangle guys so our force is equals to 20 pounds and this is our force B on this side and this is our force A and this angle right here is 80 degrees now guys again by looking at our parallelogram guys we can use the properties of a parallelogram in determining the interior angles of our parallelogram this angle right here guys the 60 degrees is an alternate interior angle of this side so their values are equal so this is also 60 degrees and also guys on this angle the 80 degrees is an alternate interior angle of this angle right here so this is also 80 degrees since we chose this top triangle guys as our triangles right here so let's copy its values so this angle right here is 60 degrees now guys we can now apply the law of sine to determine the values of our force A and our force B so let's find first guys the angle right here since the sum of all interior angle of a triangle guys is 180 degrees so let's just subtract 60 and 80 so that we can get the value of this angle right here so that is equals to 40 degrees so this angle right here is 40 degrees now let us first get the value of our force B and we can use the law of sine so force B over sine 60 guys its opposite angle that is 60 is equals to 20 pounds over its opposite angle that is 40 degrees so sine 40 so our force B is equals to sine 60 multiplied by 20 over sine 40 so we can get the value of our force B is equals to 26.946 pounds 
so that is how we can get the magnitude of one of the component of our force on the BB axis so that is the components right here on the VB axis now let's get the value of our force A which is the component on the AA axis so again let's just use the law of sine so force A guys over its opposite angle that is 80 so sine 80 is equals to 20 over sine 40 so our force A is equals to sine 80 multiplied by 20 over sine 40 so the value of our force A is equals to 30.642 pounds so that is the value of the components in AA axis so that is how we can get guys the value of the components of our force